auntie. Yeah, it's alright. It's a nice little area she lives in. Yeah, it's good. It's a good spot. So. Um, how, come, how come you're here? Um, it's just easier. Like, I hate driving and out to get this. Bad. Every, like, three, four times a week. So I might as well save some money. And, how um, do you stay? And like, not tie myself here. Yeah. How many? So how often do you stay here? Every week? Stay here maybe I don't know, every Thursday oh, usually, and then Marty's away at the moment. So oh, are you loving so, it? Yeah. <laughs> so you're there full time at the minute? Yeah, just <laughs> using it really. So what are you doing your production though? Um, just on my laptop, like yeah, the, head, the old headphones. The Man, I, I fucking hate the, uh, producing on a lappy. Oh, really? Do you need a... It does my head in. Yeah. Yeah, and plus I like I, li- I like to fuck around on the keyboard. Yeah, true. I've been used to, I've been, like, used to it for the last three years, so... Like, I've never really had a desktop to work on. Well, I guess you guys were started on the desktop, so... <laughs> on the IBM 486, oh, mate. We're old, old school, man. Did you see that photo that the yeah. dude put it with? Dude. <laughs> rip on. Yeah, I was loving it. Had my gold watch on and shit. <laughs> <laughs> gold watch. Yeah, that was a style back then, mate. That was a style. Yeah, well, for young wogs. It was anyway. So is this Armadale right now? Yeah. This is Malvern. Oh, I'm Malvern. But when you cross over um, that street, you go into Armadale. That was um, Bali. Bali was sick. Just chilled out. Didn't see a club. Didn't hear. We just chilled out for five days. Who are we with? Terry, Dara, and um, Terry's mate Nathan. Yeah, how long were you there for? About five or six days. Love it, huh? Yep, yeah, it's good fun. What's this guy doing now? I think he's parking, man. Schmacks. 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 <laughs> Go around. Where are you boys this weekend? We're in Hotham today. Oh, we're going to Hotham shit. today. That's sick. I can't wait, man. Yeah, we're going to go straight up Boardies. to this. Nah, ski. Good. Good lads. Boarding. I, don't, I just I don't, don't do boarding, boarding mate. Fucking gay. So shit. Dude, I, <laughs> last time I went, I did board. <laughs> oh, really? And I killed myself. <laughs> it's pretty funny, Like, there. proper. Yeah, like, sore ass. Like, eight flips. Yeah, he was in the pub later on with an ice pack on his ass cheek. <laughs> dude, I, like, I stacked, and I had, like, all these people, like, gather around me, making sure I wasn't dead. <laughs> it's pretty funny. And I'm just yelling. <laughs> and my ass was killing me. I thought I, like, blew my sphincter. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad, man. Oh shit. Yeah, oh, dude, I spent like half the day at the bar sitting on one ass cheek. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm much reverse skiing. Yeah, it's the best. Ski. We're not, meant to, we're not meant to go down down the hill sideways. You yeah. know what I mean? It's just weird. Yeah. How's Kerry and James going, mate? Kerry and James. Oh yeah. they're they're, <laughs> they're looking after the sheep. The alpacas. Alpacas. Uh, is your dad gonna call him Kerry and James now? Yeah, I, I told Grandpa and he didn't get it for about five minutes and then he came back to me and he's like, now I understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got to give him a bit of time, is that enough? Yeah. Oh, yeah so, yes. so how many alpacas do you have? <laughs> you have what, three. Three? Oh, I got to get him then the third one. Kerry, James and Al. Nah, does yeah. James have a son? I think he does. Kerry, James, Packer. What's, it, what's James' son's name? I'm going to look it up. Yeah, look it up. Um, Alpaca's just stupid. Al, that was, that was Maddie's. That was Maddie's recommendation. Watkins. Yeah, of course it was. He's like, I reckon we call it Al. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know Maddie. <laughs> I don't know, mate. Uh, that's awesome. Um, James. James. That guy's made it. Who's the dead one? <laughs> Kerry. Kerry. That's a dad, yeah? <laughs> who's, who's the dead one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, either way. Jackson. Jackson Lloyd it. Packer. Jackson. Jackson. Kerry. Kerry. James. Uh, James. James Douglas Packer. Yeah, Jackson. Jackson. I think. Does he have a son? Hang on. Jackson. I'll, I'll, I'll go on their Wikipedia page. Yeah, so it. Uh, it's funny. So did you just chill in Bali? Like, did you go out much? No, nah, not really. We didn't get a single taxi anywhere. We pretty much just just chill all day. Hotel and went to the beach every day. It was That's good. bad. Yeah, it was sick. Five days, sure. huh? Yeah. I have no idea where the nearest market is. Yeah, I'm just driving around. Yeah, so. what the fuck are you going? Dude, what is that? 
Yeah, what is that? That's sea from Aries. Oh, it's like no, a, no, in the oh. sky. Where? Over there, it's like a big ass flag. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, and then went to Aries Inlet two days after that. Oh, yeah? So it was like polar opposites with the weather. Aries is near, um, where was, um, Steggs's? Torquay. Torquay. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, only, the only reason I know that is because you told me. Me? No, because oh. he was like, I'm in Aries you Inlet. Like, where the fuck and I'm like, where, where the fuck is that? Aries Inlet. We don't do those things, mate. We go to like, um, all the wogs go to Rye. Yeah. <laughs> Sorrento. Sorrento. Yeah. My dad lives in Sorrento. Does he? We there tonight, yeah. You got there tonight? Yeah. It's a fair drive. It's a fair drive. I mean, yeah, on the east, I think it's not too bad, though. Yeah. It's fair. So, who lives in. But you live in Mornington, right? Yeah, I live in Mount Martha. Mount Martha? Yeah. Like right near Waddows? Yeah, pretty much 10 minutes from Waddows. You could have made that 15 times. Yeah, but, uh, you know, where, where, where are we going to be? <laughs> um, and you do your production out of a... Shipping container. A shipping container. Yeah. A shipping container. It's a good farm. Dude, yeah. we went through this phase where we couldn't stop saying cantana. Cantanas. Shipping cantanas. <laughs> and like, Look at these cantanas. Tupperware was... Can- <laughs> That's the most mocked here. Tupperware yeah. was a cantana way. Cantana way. Cantana way. We had like um, names like... Uh, yeah. The cantana. Uh, well, who's a, who's a guitarist? Carlos. Uh, yeah, Carlos, Carlos, Carlos Cantana. Yeah, Carlos Cantana. <laughs> and um, uh, Cantana Mo Bay. Hey, Cantana Mo Bay. What else do we have? Um, uh, Eric Eric Cantana, yeah, Eric ex, Cantana. ex Man United player. Oh, okay, Cantana. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, and, and how did you obtain this um, shipping Cantana? <laughs> There's a Cantana place in, <laughs> in Springvale. Oh yeah. Uh, Royal Wolf, I think Black Wolf. Oh, you and, just buy Cantanas there? Yeah. How uh, much is a Cantana there? Uh, I think it's two and a half. Grand? Yeah. Bang. Shit. It was a premium. It was like oh, a it's a premium cantana, <laughs> condition one. And then what? So like they just they deliver the cantana and like yeah. Oh, they pay deliver for that? Uh, no, the delivery is free. That's alright. That's no, alright. Fucking bargain. And then yeah. what was the sound like in there though? Um, initially it's shit as fuck because it's just steel. Yeah. Um, but I just like pretty much kitted out with as much padding as I could. But what and made um, you think of the container to use as that as a studio? Um, well, we didn't have any space in the house, like mm. it's a pretty small house, mm. and we're on about 12 acres. Yeah. So, it's not like we're going to get any noise complaints. Yeah. Um, so, we, mum's like, oh, why don't you just get a shipping container and build a room inside the room? And I was like, that's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, it's a good so idea. Did a bit of research. There's guys that took them in like Denmark or something for 40 grand, and I was like... Oh, what, a, de- a studio yeah, container? Yeah, like okay. a fully good studio. I was probably like, yeah, don't, don't exactly have forty thousand dollars to spend on a shipping container. Um, forty grand. So, shit, a bit of uh, planning and just build one myself. <laughs> so you like, you just decked it out with soundproofing and shit. Yeah, treatment. Um, yeah, just acoustic treatment. You know? So it's not too bad. That's, That's cool. Random as bad. It's a good work. So like, does it have like an off its dick like fucking container door and shit? Yeah. Fuck off the door. Did the did the alpacas like your music? <laughs> I don't know, I haven't asked them. I reckon they'd like it. <laughs> yeah, probably. Hold on, so like the sole job of the alpaca <laughs> is to look after the sheep. Yeah, and if um when they're shorn, their wool is sold. When they're what? Shorn. What's that? When they get their hair cut, mate. Okay. Yeah. The wool can get sold. I don't fucking know why we have Who cuts <laughs> it? Who cuts their hair? Um Oh, we get a professional guy. Yeah, do so, like, it's cut out because it cut out a pack of hair. Yeah. If I someone so, does that for a job, man. If I dressed up like ninja specs <laughs> and went to go like kill one of the sheep, <laughs> the alpaca, <laughs> I don't know, man. With the alpaca, like, I don't think an alpaca sees an apex predator, so it's not exactly going to. Well, do well, they actually there. protect the sheep? Yeah. No shit. What, from like wolves and um, from um, <laughs> from not wolves. wolves. <laughs> not wolves. Get the fuck out of there, mate. From foxes and shit. Australia. Foxes and shit. Yeah. I don't know what That's foxes deals are, man. Foxes, dogs, all that sort of thing. I don't know. Foxes are pretty small. I don't know if they could take that in a sheep. Yeah, but they, they get in there. <laughs> so they hunt, they hunt in packs and shit. Do they? Foxes. Oh, they got no idea. I don't think they do. That's dingoes. I don't know, I made it up. Oh, oh that was tin. Oh, 
Uh -huh. Oh, Mac is. The Anches. The Golden Anches. Fucking alpacas. I didn't even know that. They looked up to sheep. But that's not like, is that their like, sole purpose? Uh, I don't know why that's the reason. I don't think that's the reason we have. You can't milk them, can you? I, uh, I don't, wouldn't say so. <laughs> I milk an alpaca. Uh, I've never seen alpaca milk for sale. So is that all you got? Alpacas and sheep? Uh, yeah. And, so, yeah. Like, what's got... the what's the reasoning behind it? Um, I have no idea, to be honest. I'll you have just... to ask Grandpa. The because... sheep would probably eat the grass. Yeah, the sheep do mow the grass. Like, yeah. do they mow? Do they eat all? Like, yeah, they eat like does, does Grandpa have to mow it all? No. How old's your Grandpa? Uh, eighty-six. Shit. Good yeah, innings. Super he's innings. He's, he's like, he's, he's with it, 86 year old? Ah, uh, yeah, he's with it. That's yeah. sweet, man. Super innings. Yeah, super. 86, man. Come on, love. My mate's grandma recently passed away. Yeah. She was 90, I think, six. Wow. And she spoke the pack of B&H special filters every day of her life at, since she was 14. They're, <laughs> they're, the, most, they're the, the most extreme. Cigarettes, and they reckon that her lungs were the best thing in her body. That's fucked. Bad, man. She punched him. Good on her. Punch punch darts. Hi, can I get um, three 50 cent cones, please? What's that? What is that? He said, uh, what's that? 30 cents. Uh, are they just no. three ice cream cones? Three ice cream cones, anything else? No. No, thank you. Thank you. Okay, everybody. Look, they used to be 30 cents back in the no, day. I reckon, I reckon they're 50 now. Yeah. They used to be 50. I think they dropped. Inflation. Well, they dropped again. Inflation. Yeah. My club. No, 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 just inflation. That's why the prices are going up, you know? When there's inflation, yeah. prices go up. <laughs> Inflations. Have you had the the Rio frozen Sprite? No, nah, any good? No, I don't, know. I don't have that shit. You have that shit. What, Slippies? Yeah. I like Slippies, they're alright. That's what I'm saying. No, I mean, have you? Oh, uh, well. <laughs> I don't get Slippies from Maccas. you got to go from the OG, mate. Yeah, but sometimes... The OG. So what's going on music wise? Um, I've got about 10 tracks that I haven't slash can't release. 10? You yeah. can't release? Well, yeah, just labels and shit. Don't know, what's go don't know what's going on. But um, yeah, hopefully they can all get released pretty soon. Bad. I don't just like the same vibe. Because you don't really make, you don't really make like bounce, do you? Um, like it's, it's more well, of I would that. say it's sort of bouncy. I reckon like Zach should have been born a wog. From what he plays, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. Like Z that Z that cloud speaks. set was sick. Yeah, that was banging. Dean got right into it. Oh yeah, <laughs> he played so many songs. <laughs> <laughs> How many did I actually play? Probably two. <laughs> you didn't even touch the decks, did ya? I don't know. You're a dirty cunt. <laughs> we can just edit this part out. I don't think I did, did I? No, <laughs> you just had diaries. You were just, you were just observing. You were watching. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 90 cents, right? Yeah. 30 cents each again. Fucking bargain. Mate. Good country, Australia. It's a great country. Australia. Australia. Who, whose vehicle is this? This is Dean's this vehicle. Is Gee. This is his rangey, mate. Moving up in the world. He doesn't, he doesn't drive this to, to the clubs? Nah. <laughs> this is the, uh, I go like the, I go to the shops, get my lunch. <laughs> That's pretty much Sunday it. Sunday drive. With this car here. Yeah. Dude, I've had it for like, over a year and a half. I've done like, 13,000 k's. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's ridiculous. Stupid. Yeah. I do 13,000 k's in half a year. Dude, I bought my car in 2008 and it's done 205,000 <laughs> k's. What? Yeah, bro. New? You bought it new? I bought it brand new, yeah. Fuck, man. Machine. That's incredible. Bad. Mind you, my other car clocks, clocks up the k's now. Oh, yeah. The gig car. Is that the Commodore? No, it's the, the Magna. Oh, Mitsubishi. The Magna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that thing, if like, one of those. if anyone that like is a clean freak, hops into that car. Oh, forget about it. It's, it's like a, a bomb hitter. Gig car. <laughs> it's bad. There's shit everywhere. That's fine. We got pulled, pulled over by the cops once, just randomly, and they decided to go through it. <laughs> and they didn't want to go through and, it. And like, they were like, <laughs> dude, like, when's the last time you cleaned your car? This is, this is ridiculous. Dude, they, they got over it. <laughs> they got over yeah, it. Yeah, they're like, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Have a good day. Good thing they didn't find the 10 kilo of heroin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the deal with um, mushies in Bali? Oh, it's fucked. I don't know. I think they're... Are they legal or something? Yeah. Because everyone has them. 
Yeah, because I watched some. I watched something. You know that. Um, uh, what's the show called? That new one. Oh, what happens in Bali? What happens in yeah, Bali? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and apparently, like, I don't know. Australian dies in Bali every nine days. Yeah, some shit like that. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't know that. Yeah, but how many Australians die in Australia every day? Nine days. Mm, yeah. But mind you, like these guys go there, they get smashed. They they ride their scooters and shit. Yeah, they, what do you like, expect? Just stupid. Just dumb. Yeah, it is dumb. Certainly not the culture over there. <laughs> Did you go out much in terms of like on the street or did you, did you more stay in yeah. the... Yeah, fair bit. Was it um like, was it, is it what's it called? Cooter? Cooter. Yeah, like in Cooter. It's Cooter. Is it rough there? Um, no, it's not too bad. Like some of the... Is it like, have you been to Thailand? Some of the poverty that you see is pretty bad. Have you been to Thailand? Yeah, no, I haven't actually. Okay, sweet. So you can't get there. Is it similar? Oh, oh, that's what I was going to ask. I reckon, oh, okay. it, would be I reckon it would be. Yeah. yeah. I've heard it's pretty similar. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about man. Like, it's all right for a holiday and stuff, but like, like when I was in Thailand, I just got over like seeing all the all the shit stuff. Yeah. Thanks, man. Ha ha. Ha ha. Look at these bad boys. Ha ha. Go around. Ha ha. Couple of bad boys, mate. There you go, Zaggy, mate. Cheers, mate. There you go, First mate. Run. I've had a coyote in about seventy-five years. This you had a cone this morning, mate. <laughs> Cheers. That's a lie. I did cones. These are the only cones I like, mate. Dude, I honestly haven't one of these, have one of these for probably since I was like but ten. Brilliant. It is brilliant. It's a good lunch. <laughs> I don't know about the X6. Hmm? I don't know about the X6. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. If someone gave one to me, I would be fine. Yeah, that. back. Yeah, you wouldn't say I don't know. I'd probably just sell it. Dude, if you had to give ice cream another name, what would you call it? Um, wow, that's a difficult question. That's a really Bad. difficult question. Wow. <laughs> um, I call it icy cream. <laughs> you can't call it icy cream. <laughs> it's a fucking rip off. That this was, can't. It's like a wog version. It's just a rip off. Icy cream. It's like, <laughs> it's like, is this ice cream? No. I reckon. Icy cream. <laughs> it's a way better. Ice, ice cream. cream. Where are we? Should we go back our way? Yeah, bust the Yui. Mm. Hmm? Go left somewhere. Because this is Chapel Chapel. Not here. Not here. No. Oh, go chapel. Oh, fuck it. Nah, lips are right here, don't worry. Bend you go straight. Oh! Shit. Never heard of this straight. What you got coming up this weekend? Um, good stay? I'm in Sydney on uh, Friday yep. at Soho with uh, Chris Bullen. Oh, yeah? Good fun. Nice. So it's good, man. Yeah? Yeah. Is it real underground, I've heard? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, as like, underground as Sydney can be. If you compare it to like, Real commercial clubs, yeah. It's you can get away with a bit more. Yeah. Sick. And you can play Zenit. Um, Zenit. Zenit. Can I go through there? Yeah. yeah. No, you can't. Oh, okay. oh, shit. Oh, yeah, but it's still pretty good. I feel like a tourist. How was Argentina? You Sick. gotta explain more. Man. Sick. It was so good. Just the fact that like there was still so many people there at like such a late time. Yeah. No shit. They go hard, mate. Like 5 a.m., 3,000 people. It's wow. just, it was just ridiculous, dude. And like... You must have been stoked to get that key. Uh, yeah, did they yeah. request it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like everyone that's there, like when they go party, they, they commit like 100%. Yeah, that's mad. Every drop, they lose it, man. It's sick. And like... It reminded me of an, a, a massive old school two floors. Yeah, like an epic yeah. one, huh? Yeah. Have you ever... Um, like, did you... What? Okay. Spit out, mate. Was it the best gear you've ever played? Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of, like, the magnitude of it? It's mad. That's it was just everything. I think we just enjoyed the whole place. I just think it was just good as a whole. Real nice people. Yeah. Good food. We had these random, like... Mad tacos. Argentinian tacos. Mad. But like That's sick. the way they do it's a bit different. Like it was, it was like you know you can get soft shells, mm. but they weren't like it wasn't like a soft shell. It was like I don't know what was it. I don't know. It was just mad. Yeah, man. Go down Chapel, right? Yeah, Chapelli. Jabs. Oh man, I used to spend hours here back in the day. And my cousin's Wagmobile. <laughs> so Dean used to drive this car. It was a Mazda what? 
329. Uh, 99. 99. I had this exhaust on it, yeah. <laughs> and if you sat in the back seat, you can guarantee yourself that you would have had a headache by the time we got anywhere. Why? Because it was loud. It was so fucking loud. Wow. <laughs> like bad loud, though. That's hilarious. I'm surprised I didn't cop a canary. It blew up on the way here once, didn't it? On tour Yeah, we're going to... Uh, Barco. Um, yeah, Crown. The tight ass way. <laughs> yeah, no e-tags. No e-tags. <laughs> Dude, we're getting paid like 25 bucks an hour. Bad. To play? Yeah, yeah We did the hard yards, hard mate. Hard yards, mate. Mate. Yeah, None of this... Uh, a of free gigs. Mm. Was it even cash? What, not the boys? That's bullshit. Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Full on. So you couldn't even go get Nando's after? <laughs> nah. I had to go home, mama, to cook dinner. My car got stolen from the fucking casino then too. Pricks. Mind you, in these days, those were the days when we were like lugging vinyl around as well. Yeah, yeah. with the with the trolleys and the alligator straps. Wow. <laughs> like I miss vinyl, but I don't miss lugging it around. <laughs> like fifty vinyls. If you like, if you had like a fifty vinyl record bag, do you know how heavy that shit is? Fuck. Yes, fact. Um, Pioneer just bought out new bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we saw the um, we saw some pics of it. Looks pretty cool, but how many are they going to sell? Really? If they ever become popular again, we can whip them out. It's like riding a bike, man. Yeah, but I can't justify buying unless you're a collector. I can't justify buying vinyl anymore. We just spend like two hundred bucks a week on vinyl. Easy. Like, imagine like. You got you got gigs coming up, and every yeah. week you're, you're spending like two hundred bucks a week on music. Every Wednesday, I'd go to Capital DJ. Mm. I've um, heard about that. And what was the one on Commercial Road? Was that com- that was no, Capital? That was DJ. Capital. Yeah. And the other one was um, Vinny. Yeah, Vinny. Vinny was at Capital. And we used to go to uh, Rhythm and Soul. I didn't really go to Rhythm and Soul. Yeah, More we went, housing. went there a couple of times. Yeah. Central Station. Alley Tunes. I used to go to Central Station a lot. It's incredible. Now we just go and pay for it. Download shit. Oh yeah. USB. I was looking at my USB before, and I'm like, it's a beautiful thing. It's incredible. Yeah. Um, what they should have done with that CD player is have um, a USB input, and then have the like a little screen telling you which song it is and which BPM. And yeah, then, true. Yeah, and then you're done. That would've been cool. Yeah. For what? For the new um, turntable, yeah? Nah, fuck that. Fuck it, BPMs. Do it yourself. No, nah, he's saying for like Guido's that like CDJs. They don't, no, you don't need BPMs, alright? Fair enough. You don't need BPMs. You shouldn't use that anyway. Dude, if, you, if like 80% of the kids now played vinyl, they'd have to start DJing all over again. Bad. Because they on vinyls. Good boy. I'm glad I did too. Because mm. it's more the fact that like, um, you gotta know when when songs are, are finishing. Hey, should he turn left here? What's this? Uh-huh. High Street. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Told you. Yep. Bust the move, mate. You just keep driving, mate. Okay. Yeah, and like, same with the BPMs and all that bullshit. Like, it was just real. It was just Dude, raw, man. It was analog. The art. first CDJs I played on, or Dean and I played on, was they were Denons, and rather than a troggle wheel. It'd have a plus and minus button, so you yeah. could, you can put the pitch, you can put the tempo up, but then rather than like using the toggle to move it forward, you have to press like plus 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 plus. plus. You get thumb injuries, man. It was fucked. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah. You must have loved it when you got the track that was in key, same key, yeah, same every BPM. Oh man, it was mad. You're like I don't have to do any work here. Far out. Like we used to DJ at this um. Did we tell you? At this place called Barco? No. You wouldn't know about it. It was like, it was, it was pretty much like a time zone with a bar in it. At the casino? Time zone, like a game. Yeah, like yeah, a game yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, we used to DJ again. It was alright though, like, because like, whenever Adam was DJing, I'd go and like play pinball or like, <laughs> <laughs> just bludge. And, and then the second place we played was like Kingpin, like where, where you, you know where you go bowling and shit? Yeah. Uh, I used to DJ at a concert where bowling was fucked. <laughs> But I, I became pretty good at bowling though, because in between mixes I couldn't get a ball and run up to do it. I actually DJ for Deltra Goodman's um, movie fucking premiere. Really? She had it at a bowling alley. Have you seen the movie ever? It was so shit. I shit didn't watch else. it. 
She was in a movie. She yeah. does my head in, man. Yeah. Wow. Know. There's a reason why, like, certain people are alive, and it's just simply because it's illegal to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, she's one of them. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's something Terry would say. Terry. Terry. <laughs> the undercover Greek. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With his Michael Jackson pants. Michael Jackson pants. <laughs> Do whatever he wears those. I, I get my, um, my lightning in and I'll clip it onto him. <laughs> and I'll start pulling him. <laughs> we're going straight. Uh, uh, yeah, go He's straight. a good kid, Terry. Yeah, he is. It's a list of food boy. He is. Represent. How, how did you see me? Um, we met through this chick called Denise. Denise. Um, she still is. Miss K. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And um, they were staying down literally behind my place in Sorrento for school list. Oh, yeah? And so I knew Denise, so I ran, went around to see them. Yeah. And um, Terry was there. And then Terry. That's, that's the first time I met him. And I was... Legitimately scared by him. So you're like, it was. He looks so angry. Yeah, he's a bit of a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, Terry, you can. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh yeah, shit! And then, yeah, just started making tunes. How long have you been making tunes for? Been two and a half years, three years now. Oh, so, so you look, you look, only a small amount of time. What? Have you, have you been DJing for how long? Uh, I've been DJing for about two and a half. Shit, that's it. Yeah. You've, done, you've done pretty well for that for that amount of time. What made you just get into it? Um, actually, I was in school and um, and I was listening to like heavy metal and shit. <laughs> and you'll know this bloke, but I got a CD yeah. of Skids Mix. Oh Nick, yeah, Nick, Nick Skids, Skids mate. He's a, he's a champ. He's and a I gun. Was like, fuck, this is like the best yeah like, <laughs> like, hard style shit yeah, yeah, yeah and I was getting right into it and then I was like I want to be able to make this stuff that's then, cool yeah then what did you want to be Ableton. before that um I had no idea no I, I I didn't have any idea what I wanted to do mm. six months after I left school shit. and then I decided that, so you just winged it so yeah, winged I, it. yeah just winged that's it that's mad that's mad but you obviously kind of had an inkling that like you, yeah, you could achieve I, like, well, like, could... I think I, I didn't know it but thought I could yeah, yeah, yeah I could like I probably th- saw like Tiesto and stuff and go like yeah I could do that yeah, yeah. So, uh, it was different for Dean and I back in the day like not many people did what we do but like yeah. so you just you know, how, you how, it. how hard was it like to to, to get your to get your name out there like you know was, yeah. was it was it was it hard was it easy like what did you do um I don't really know I guess <laughs> it all just sort of came together sequence of like steps so you bring out one track and then a couple of people jump on board you bring out another track and yeah. Then yeah more people know about it that's why heaps of kids or heaps of kids always like <coughs> what advice do you have I'm like man to tell you the truth like if you're good enough and you can make you can make cool yeah, tunes like people are going to play it you know yeah, what I mean like, they don't care who you are as long as it sounds good music is good enough that's it that's pretty it pretty much don't even have to market it nah where was your first gig first gig um who gave you your first break? Who you gonna give a shout out to? <laughs> um, I'm gonna give a shout out to uh, <laughs> Tim Preston. Tim for Preston playing me at my first ever club gig, which was in St Kilda um, at Pretty Please. Oh yeah. And there was about maybe 40 people there, and it was um, certainly interesting. It's my first time playing with a DJM 2000. Oh shit! And I shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Where That's, are we? Um, we are near this is where we came from. So go up to Glen Ferry Road and turn right. Okay. How about your favourite gig that you played? Favourite gig? I don't know. I think it's all going to be a split. Yeah. Between HQ. Yep. That was mad. Yep. Um, in in Adelaide. Adelaide. Yep. It was just a massive room. Yeah. It yeah. It's room. a cool venue. It's a cool venue. Um. Billboard on New Year. Eve. This year, what just passed? Yeah, last, yeah, last yep. time. It was packed. Yeah. And um, there were heaps of anyways at the palace that were fucking like, amazing. You, you played any festivals yet? Uh, I played in stereo, but on like the V, the yeah, yeah. state. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you guys play at stereo last year? Yeah, yeah. Did we? Yeah, we did. We, we played, played at the Melbourne, Melbourne stage. stage. Melbourne stage. That's right. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was all right. Big state. 
Like Co- bloody <laughs> bloody oh, I reckon maybe like a thousand people maybe. That's sick. Yeah, that's pretty good. No, it was good, man. And they got into it? Yeah, they always tend to... T- the festivals are pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, with us and festivals, like we tend to like... Just play hard. Yeah, we play pretty <laughs> tough. Like, we don't really... We might mix it up with a bit like cheesy stuff just to keep them interested Platinum for a little bit. But then we're just like... Fuck it, anyone that wants to stay yeah. can stay and yeah. we're just gonna play sticky. Platinum was cheating. Platinum was cheating. was loving the day. Oh brother. shit, man. <laughs> hey. He was ripping out Gypsy, like every cheesy banger that ever existed. Just so you guys can edit that last bit out from Dean. Yeah. Silly boy. Nah. I'm gonna another, mate. You said Platinum was shit. I didn't say that. He did. I was stunned, didn't he? He did. I said, oh shit. Hey, Joey. <laughs> hey, Joey. <laughs> Joey, it's alright, don't worry. Edit that bit out. <laughs> I love you, mate. Don't worry. Oh shit He's a loose unit mate Oh that was fucked He had to retire hey, early Hey see what I mean See those, those solar panel things there Yeah Tell me they can't have them On top of our cars Yeah so So it's just like an electric solar powered car Yeah I don't think it'd be big enough to No no no, no not, not the power of the car I'm just talking for everything else So we could fuck off batteries You know what I mean you, you, Your car would never go flat So they have a power point in the car So you charge Yeah it. You, you, your car would ne- you'd never go far. You'd never need jumper cables again. And why can't we have little things like that on the back of our phones as well? Yeah, true. Like, if you're in dire, dire straits of some battery, you can just hold your phone out the window for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get the solar yeah, power. Gotcha. This is actually a massive sunroof. Holy shit. It's not a sunroof. It's a, yeah, it it's a, moon roof. It's a sky, yeah. sky roof. Where's it? Moon roof. Yeah, it's a moon roof. Moon it's roof. sick. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's obvious. So it's when you flip it, you're fucked. It's got like a little, like one of these things, you can cover it and shit. Oh, okay. That makes so, sense, yeah. Because like in, in summer when it's like, if it's like ever like 35, 40. Yeah. Like it gets pretty hot. Yeah. Uh, turn right. Yeah. Yeah, you'd hate if it was, can you open it? No. No. No, no shit. Yeah. You'd hate to see like a bird shit on, on it. Dude, like, I, this car got attacked one day. Yeah, <laughs> that was fucked. Man. The whole car was covered in fucking bird shit. It was bad. <laughs> so bad. Like, they meant it. You could tell they meant it. <laughs> they do they mean it. They had an agenda. Yeah, they full on. They, they attacked me. They were bored. I don't know what they were, but... <laughs> so I went straight to the, the car wash. Car wash. If it was the Mitsubishi, I probably would have gone like a week later. Yeah, I haven't taken my car to the car wash in, I reckon, about six or seven months. Shit. Man, like, do you, do you take it to the car... Um, to the car wash people? Yeah, the car wash people. Yeah. Huh. Oh, I did wash it about six months ago. Dude, the car wash people that, like, have got their shit together, you know, when you see, like, ten people just cutting loose on your car? <laughs> it's amazing. Do it in, like, three minutes. Yeah, dude, yeah. it's awesome. They smash it out. It's pretty good. You say, like, hey, do it. Hey, so I'm going to ask you a couple of random questions. Yeah. And we're just going to answer them just quickly. Alright? You gotta help me out with this. More brand questions? Yeah, like Zach, favourite colour? Blue. I like that's my favourite colour too, I reckon. Oh, uh, yeah. You reckon? Yeah. I used to, back in the day, my favourite yeah. colour used to be orange, but now I don't know about orange. Orange? No, look, that's the, a strange colour. I just like black, man. No, but no, the D's. Like the the D's. Even a colour. Yes, it is. Red and blue. Red and blue. Forget about the D's. I like red and blue. Fitting in there. Nah, he's off his dick. Uh, favourite sport? Favourite sport? Fuck, probably soccer. Soccer. Follow, follow anyone? Yeah, Chelsea. Ah, oh, fuck uh, Chelsea. Fucking <laughs> I hate Chelsea. Hollywood scum. Man, I hate <laughs> Chelsea so much. I can't express to you how much I hate Chelsea. Oh, well, it's a feelings mutual. Too. It's because of drug bar. Really? Do you hate drug bar? I fucking hate a drug bar. Drug bus. Drug bus. <laughs> <laughs> just, he's just an arrogant fuck. Anyway. He's not even at Chelsea. Don't get Dean started on this. Doesn't matter. Hey. Like, wherever he goes, I hate. Shush. First right, tune you ever. Next that. First tune you ever bought. First tune I ever bought, fuck, I bought a single. I was talking about this the other day. Uh, neck, this right, 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 right. This can't. Are you fucking. Are you, are you even here? Look, mate, I just, just do the driving. Go down the next right, go down the you, next right. You can't say right. We well, said, said right Wait, three times. Uh, look. I bought. Like, right, 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 right. Yeah, sorry, if it goes I that. bought Feel Good by the Gorillas. Ah, oh, tune. Yeah, and um, yeah, that was the first ever single slash song that I ever bought. Uh, go right into this. <laughs> you got this one in your bed. You almost did it again, Zach. Um, last tune you bought. Yeah, last bad. tune I bought was um. Fuck. I don't know. I went on a huge binge. I think I bought Smash at Mid Oz Camp. That that you. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Sort of commercial big room pursuit. Okay. Yeah. 
not too bad. What was the tough. first tune that you guys ever bought? <laughs> hey, uh, we're asking the questions yeah. here, mate. Oh, I, I can nah, it honestly, I All think right. my, my, my tune, the first tune I ever bought was, geez, it would have been, I think, the whole meter at the Love Parade, man. On, yeah, on As a CD tune. single. That and Beach Ball by uh, Nalan and Kane. I reckon the first, like, not wasn't a single, it was like a, what are they called? Soundtrack. Remember that, um, you don't, you won't remember this movie. Which one? But, um, Adam Wolf, you know that Reckless Kelly? Oh yeah. <laughs> you remember that movie? <laughs> I bought the soundtrack to that on tape. Tape? <laughs> on tape, dude. Wow. With the old Walkman. Reckless uh, Kelly? Yeah. yeah. That was about Ned Kelly. Yeah. What the fuck were you listening to? I don't know. To? I don't know. You bought the soundtrack to yeah. Ned Kelly movie. Because I had that tune that, I bought the low and the low one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I used to go on like I used, to, I used to go on like family trips and shit in the back and have a walkman on with like I thought no, I was loving it. Wow. Yeah. Dude, you don't have this BMW. Oh yeah. Hey, um, you stuck on an island with three people. Who would it be? Fuck. Probably. Don't know. Holy shit, that's a really tough question. Yeah, it, it could be anyone. Though. Could be anyone. Bear Grylls. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, because you can suss some shit out yeah, for now. Yeah, that's a good one. Some shit good out. answer. Yeah. We bring this about um, on and off. I would take Ricky Gervais. Okay. For some comic relief. Yep. And funny freak. It can't be any of your mates that you have now. I'm talking about you know. And in a made up world. Wow. You gotta take some some know, sort of female, like, bro. Some sort of female. Yeah, you need titties. <laughs> yeah. What do we take? Lisa Hand. You should chop out. <laughs> Who's last Lisa, Lisa Ann? Ann, the porn star. <laughs> I don't even know Lisa. Like, go home and look her up. <laughs> oh, we'll out. Go home and look her up. Uh, all right, man. Last question. Yeah. One word answer. You got to answer it. All right. Yeah. Luke or Kieran? Luke. Okay, thank you. Oh, fuck you, straight out. There you go. There you go. Fuck shit, Kieran. Suck shit, Kieran. Stupid Kieran. <laughs>